Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Scorpio and Cancer the relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on in this connection. I pulled individual energy for Scorpio. I then pulled individual energy for Cancer. We'll take a look at you guys as a couple and pull individual energy. I am going to actually pull love for this read though. Um, and for some of the reads, I did not because there was no love there, right? So I figured at this point, either the love is over and if the story was to be told, it would. And in some cases, that had happened, right? But this one is, there's a clear indication here. There's something going on with the family, right? I see that. Somebody's, uh, somebody's lying to somebody, being conniving about something or something like that. This is some unhappiness here. So I'm going to pull the individual energy. Okay. Hold on. This keeps coming up, this banquet, whatever that's about. Something about a job offer for Scorpio. All right, I'm going to, some same old cards, same cards. But we are, you know, I did a set of, this is like the 11th one. So the last one is coming up. The next read after this is Scorpio Pisces, guys. Feel free to check it out. Share the videos, guys. Please like, share, subscribe. I'm working on a stool right now. Being on this stool is actually better than the chair. The chair is wider. The school, the stool Helps me not move things around as much. So, all right, let's see what's going on here. Scorpio, give me your energy. What is your main concern? Scorpio, your main concern right now in this relationship or in your life. This could be about you. This could be about us, whatever this is. You know what I mean? You, Cancer. What's up? Scorpio, what's on your mind? Your main concern? A letter. Something comes in about a letter. I feel like Scorpio missed a letter for a job offer. So banquet means job offer. And letter, a letter of a job offer. Somebody did not get a letter for a job offer. Somebody was offered a job or considered for something and they did not get the letter. Somebody interrupted Scorpio's mail perhaps, right? We know we have people looking at mail, they're reading mail online when it's not their business to, snooping. And we also have folks stealing from mailboxes, interceptions, there's fraud going on somewhere. Could be going on in your country somewhere, whatever. I mean, I mean, it's mail, so obviously. <clears throat> Somebody could be in the military. Hmm. It could be a holiday where you are. Okay. Cancer. Give me your main concern in this relationship, or it can be about you. What is your main concern? I want to be clear, guys. When I go back to Scorpio, I want to be very clear. The banquet came up. The banquet is a job offer. The letter reverse is a, a job offer that Scorpio did not get. The snake energy comes up. This is a friend to con the seeker. So this is a friend who shows up. There's a friend in this energy that comes up under you, Cancer. Your main concern is a friend. Scorpio's main concern is not receiving information or correspondence about a job offer. Your main concern is a snake, a friend who's going to con somebody, con the seeker. I don't know who the seeker is just yet. I'm assuming that could be you because this is supposed to be a love relationship. I don't know. Give me the common energy, please. I want the common energy between Scorpio and Cancer. I really don't want to pull that one. You know what? I'm going to hold off on that. But I still feel like we need to. Let me just do it, and I'll pull it over when I need to. Give me the common energy. All right. Well, that flipped. Whips. That don't sound too good. A trap set for animals. A trap. Somebody escaping a trap. Somebody tried to set a trap for somebody. I do have another reference sheet here. Because I was like, what happened to that reference sheet? And let me tell you guys, Lenormand, you know, is a little different. I pulled that sheet, too. I even put, you know how you put it in the plastic, like, inserts or whatever? Like, it was that like that. Like, it really meant that much. Well, let me just see something. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Wave the wand. I'm here. I'm here. Let me just see something. What's this? So, um, no, this one is a little different. They're all different. That's why I had a few of them. Okay. Yeah, there's something going on here with whips. All right. Whatever this is about here is a trap. Somebody set a trap. It's typically a trap set for animals, but it was a trap that was set 
somebody escaped the trap maybe somebody was supposed to trap somebody there was a friend who tried to trap somebody by taking a letter con the seeker notice there's a key here somebody maybe went into somebody's house allowed somebody to go into your house cancer did you allow somebody to go in scorpio's house or y'all's house did y'all share together is that what this is no i don't know <laughs> let me go ahead and get into it all right i'm pulling these cards these cards are a little light energy like they are they listen they say what it is they just say it nicely <clears throat> they say it in crystal form so notice crystals right oh are you going with the crystal deck here i like this deck because it i, don't know, I just like it and I like the colors. Oof. All right, let's see. What's going on here, Scorpio? I'm going to need your energy in this relationship with cancer. I know that you have a concern on your mind, Scorpio. It's a job offer that was, I don't know, withheld. You didn't get a letter for it. So it tells me that there was some communication sent, right? Correspondent, somebody sent a letter, put a stamp on it, or they ran it through the machine or whatever place they work for or whatever. Whoever, it could have been an official letter. Maybe somebody signed for it, right? Scorpio, what's going on here? What's your energy in this relationship with cancer, please? I'm trying to heal myself. I'm not grounded. The right opportunities escape me. Justice. So, self-healing, grounding. The right opportunities, justice. I was given an injustice. I was treated unfairly in some situation. Somebody felt like it was the wrong opportunity, right? It's reversed here, so wrong opportunity. Somebody made a decision that... This was the wrong opportunity for you, Scorpio. So somebody made a decision for you and said you, right? So you're dealing with that. Now, we also see where there's somebody who's not grounded. I feel like that's you not grounded, but I feel like you're unsettled in some situation having to do, obviously, with this relationship, right? We're going to put that right there with the letter. Scorpio, what else is going on in this relationship? For some of you guys, you're like, I'm unable to heal myself. Some of you guys are sitting in the same situation, same environment. That's going to switch up though, right? So whether you like it or not, your environment is going to change, right? So what does that mean? If you have two people who are in some sort of a connection, right? And one opts to leave, that's an immediate change, a change in your immediate environment. Yep, that's the verbiage. All right, so one way or another, something like that. Give me more, Scorpio, your feelings. Mm. Ooh, I didn't feel good about those colors. I'm not. I got my own way of reading, y'all. <laughs> some, some. Listen, people call it unorthodox anyway. Them the same ones that be judging, right? And the same, you know what I mean. <sighs> All right, let's go, Scorpio. Your energy. All right, I guess you listen. I get listen. Okay, solace. I choose to live a healthy lifestyle, right? There's clear communication, but I also choose to operate in balance. I'm dealing with this situation, this letter, this fact that I'm not grounded. I have to take responsibility and do something about it because I recognize how I'm being impacted by this injustice, by this job offer, right? But the cards are saying that it was the wrong job offer. That's what I'm getting from. It was the wrong job offer anyway. It's not something probably that you would have accepted, Scorpio, but I think it's the principle that somebody had the balls to intercept it and make the decision for you, right? Even though it may have been something insulting, such as, oh, you'll be a uh, sister's voice here. You'll be the third or fourth. If you don't get you. So I feel like it wasn't the right job offer anyway, whatever this is about for you guys. So you guys choose to go into solace. Clear communication. I'm going to tell you what my boundaries are. I'm going to tell you what I won't do. I'm going to live a healthy lifestyle. I'm going to focus on that. There's something with water. Some of you guys need to drink more water here, but this is also, I don't want to say lack of emotions, but emotional intuition, psychic powers and healing. This is reversed here. Maybe some of you guys weren't using this. Maybe some of you guys are operating on more of the logical side now because this is emotional intuition, right? So there's intuition. I feel like some of you guys could be ignoring your intuition. Some of you guys could be ignoring psychic powers. Some of you could be healers, a healthy lifestyle, or you need to, something with water. Some of you guys need to, I don't know, either gain control of your emotions or release some emotions. I don't know. It could be too much or too little. I'm not really understanding that. Give me one more for Scorpio. I feel like there's some ups and downs or feelings about the relationship, about 
somebody, I don't know, it feels like, I don't know, it feels like a violation. Give me more, Scorpio, what's up? In this relationship, you feel violated. Black tourmaline, so protected. I don't feel protected. Anxiety relief, I have anxiety. I'm trying to cleanse my aura, but self-belief. I just feel like you guys are on a journey. I'll pull more if I need to for that. I still feel like you're exploring this feeling of whatever this is. I still I feel like you're healing from it. And I feel like you are... I want to say investigating different avenues of recovery, right? What is going to work for me? What is not? I'm going to try this. I'm going to try that. There's something with psychic powers, though. I feel like maybe you guys, if you have uh, gifts or whatever, or you think you have them, I feel like some of you guys are realizing you do, or you need to wake up and see that you do. I don't know what this is. It feels, I don't know. It feels like you guys feel like you're not protected, though. I will tell you that. But I feel like you guys are trying to gain some kind of control over it. Letting go of anxiety or trying to. Emotional intuition. Yeah, I think you guys need to explore your intuition. Like, get to know yourselves. That's why you're in solace. I think you're going to learn that. Ugh. Cancer, whatever this means. Give me the energy in this relationship, please. Hmm. Give me your energy in this relationship with Scorpio. The Scorpio is not grounded, not healing just yet. But you guys may have... I don't know if you guys are like still hanging out together or something like that. Somebody's a snake here. This Cancer, what's going on with this friend energy? This, the friend who's a snake? Connecting with animals, telepathic abilities, finding your true path and finding clarity. Some of you guys are trying to gain some clarity on the situation happening with this friend. This friend who's a snake. You're finding out the truth. You're finding clarity on something. There's something about telepathic abilities. You might be communicating with your Scorpio who has psychic powers. I feel like Scorpio's ignoring your, um, I don't know, your little thingies. You know, those bings, right? So I feel like Cancer's trying to communicate with Scorpio. And Scorpio's really not having it. Scorpio is not allowing that energy in. Psychic powers, that's what that is. So I'm rejecting your energy. I'm not messing with you. So I see you sending messages. But I won't be answering to those. And I think Cancer's getting some clarity on that. There's something with a friend who tried to con a Cancer. Mm. More Cancer. What's up? Somebody's name could have been Ruby. Maybe this person wears red. I don't know. Increased abundance. There's a loss of abundance, Cancer. It says something about a loss of passion. Lucid dreaming. Light of the soul. It looks like somebody may have gone dark, dark, dealing with a con artist, a friend who is trying to do something to deceive you. I feel like you guys either assisted or you are the friend who tried to deceive the Scorpio. Whatever actions were taken here because of this con artist, con artist, the snake, whoever this is, somebody's name could be snake, snake, right? This person got in the way of something, tried to deceive you guys on a matter. And I feel like there's a loss of abundance because of it. Somebody loses what they have. A friend. A friend to con the sneaker. I don't know if you guys are friends. Somebody was using a friend to get some kind of information or cancer. You could have been a friend to Scorpio, right? Trying to get information. You lost abundance because of this, right? So you lose abundance, cancer. You lose passion, you lose lucid dreaming. So you're basically losing abilities here because of something that you participated in or did. Give me more. What else is going on, please, for cancer in this relationship with Scorpio? Earth. Abundance, fertility, harvest, logic. Okay. So it comes back again. It says there's a loss, but then it says abundance. Abundance through earth, fertility, harvesting, and logic. So you basically lost your abundance and you decided to harvest off of Scorpio. Is that right? That's what it looks like because you have you I loss of abundance with Ruby Red being reversed. Increased abundance reversed. So there would be delays. This could be you going from delays to now gaining, but I feel like because of the harvesting piece of it, you could have tried to harvest from Scorpio or maybe your harvest is finally coming in. Take it how it resonates. You know if you're the a-hole or not. Just saying. 
You know. You know you're whether or not you're the one who harvested the energy from Scorpio, right? As in, I took Scorpio's picture, put it up on the internet. I said, Scorpio's for sale, right? I'm Scorpio. I'm going to call you up and say some sexy words to you using an AI voice or whatever these people did, whatever nonsense. And then you start to harvest because you harvested somebody's energy to do it. Or you go from having delays and now the abundance comes in. That's up to you. Let me see. Let me see four. Give me one more, please, for Cancer. Give me Cancer's energy, please, in this relationship with Scorpio. I feel like Cancer wanted something from Scorpio, and I feel like Scorpio rejected it. Scorpio's like, nah, self-belief. But I still feel like Scorpio is a little confused about something. Scorpio doesn't feel protected at all. Anxiety. I'm still a little nervous about this whole thing. Somebody's still gaining abundance from this, right? So somebody is a psychic powers reversed. Somebody is losing abundance. When Scorpio stops using their psychic abilities, that's when uh, Cancer here starts losing money. Scorpio's living a healthy lifestyle. Hold on. When Scorpio starts, when Scorpio starts living a healthy lifestyle, I can't really say it at home. Let me see something. Scorpio can't heal. Cancer starts connecting with animals and trying to communicate with Scorpio telepathically. Scorpio makes a healthy life choice to live a better life. Clear communication about my boundaries. I'm going to tell you what my boundaries are. Clear communication. I have balance, says Scorpio. When Scorpio has balance, Cancer starts losing money. Increased abundance. Decreased abundance. Okay. Scorpio stops using their emotional intuition, right? They start operating logically. Psychic powers and healing. I stop using them. I suppress them. I leave them a bit for a while. I'm going to go take a break. I'm going to da 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 You start getting money. It's so weird. It's like, I can't. When Scorpio's living healthy, you lose money. When Scorpio stops using psychic abilities, you make money. You lose money when Scorpio's happy. When Scorpio withdraws, you make money. Oh, okay, I get it. You make your money off the devil, right? When Scorpio's in a bad mood or something like that. But then there's this black tourmaline. <clears throat> Scorpio does not feel protected in this relationship. Or this connection or whatever this is, right? I have anxiety. What, ha what happens when Scorpio has anxiety? What happens to Cancer? I'm noticing a trend here. It's weird, though. Dispels negative energy. Home protection, earth connection, achieving career success. When Scorpio doesn't feel protected in a situation, Cancer wins. That's what it looks like. Cancer is winning. Whenever Scorpio is like down, out, in the dirt, Cancer starts making money. When, Cor when Scorpio pulls back and goes into a healthy lifestyle, they lose money. But then when Scorpio pulls back psychic emotional abilities, they gain abundance, fertility. I'm able to harvest from you. Energy. Dispels negative energy. Interesting. Now... Protective dispels. I'm not protected, but then you dispel negative energy. Home protection, earth connection, achieving career success. Cancer benefits from this. Whenever you're down and out, cancer gets paid. Mm. Making sure you effed up one way or another. So when you're happy, they lose. No abundance comes when you're at peace, Scorpio. Give me the common energy. Give me the common energy, please. What's this? Tiger's eye. Luck in new ventures, willpower, creative flow, overcoming fear. All right. You guys are overcoming fear, I guess, as a couple in some situation, it looks like, or business partnership. There's going to be some creative flow through willpower. You guys are overcoming fear. That's the common energy. It doesn't mean that you're going to end up together or things are going to be great, great, great. But 
If you individually go for some new business venture with willpower and creative flow, you can overcome fears of whatever this is. Ooh, child, that was weird. But still, that letter, mm, that letter and this friend. All right, let's see what's going on here. The Ten of Pentacles comes up reverse for Scorpio in this in this relationship with Cancer. We have here, there's something with family conflicts. Somebody's in separation. You guys could be in separation, right? The separation is because of anything having to do with inherited is inheritance issues separation to inheritance issues so this could be about a separation right you guys are getting divorced or breaking up or whatever or this could be about inheritance where somebody disputed a will it was a will or some other long-term expectation meaning you promised me you said that as long as i you said as long as we did we were together and as long as you know you said that and you guys, it looks like somebody might have some proof of this too. So somebody said something that was a promise that was not fulfilled, right? There's a member of the older generation of a family who has outdated beliefs, who is having some sort of impact on this relationship here. Uh, it is really frustrating some of the younger members of the family or this energy showing up for you, Scorpio. You could just be so rich, right? You're lazy, rich, wealthy, I'm assuming. If you're laying around like this, I'm thinking you're wealthy, it says here that maybe you need a little bit more to do, but I feel like for some of you guys really with Ten of Pentacles, there's something here where you guys could be facing a foreclosure or something like that, right? And it's because of an inheritance. It's because of some money being held up somewhere. Somebody is holding money and it's being done. It feels like purposely in order to make some sort of a judgment. Scorpio, the next energy I'm having come up for you is a Five of Cups reversed here. You guys actually end up hearing something that you, it leads you to believe like something is off here, right? Why is A and B to the die that you start questioning something, right? You may hear something that leads others, you and others, to believe that they've been deceived. There's something about a test. You guys have been in some testing situation or there is a test here. There's something where you guys are refusing to make up your mind about a situation. This could be about a love relationship. For some of you guys, whether or not you should move on, am I going to forgive somebody? Is there any hope for something? Can we recover? So Scorpio, I feel like you guys are dealing with that. Do I forgive? Because the Ten of Pentacles is reversed. So this is serious. This is like a relationship. First of all, it's a relationship, right? It has to do with the family, whether it be separation from a partner, whether it be from, you know, inheritance issues. Again, that's family, I would assume, right? Inheritance, that has to do with family. That has to do with legacy. So it's something like that. Now, for some of you guys here, you still need to face the facts about this situation. And I feel like you guys just don't want to deal with it. We have the Six of Wands that comes out reverse for you. We do see here, though, Scorpio, listen, right? It feels like you've been robbed in this situation. I'm not going to lie. I feel like you were left in sadness. I feel like you're trying to figure out whether or not you can forgive, which is why you have this in and out energy. I feel like more things come out. Many things come out. And I feel like that's what sways your feelings, right? So I feel like once you settle on one feeling, you get some more details or you get some new people you find out about in the mix and you're like, oh boy, further disappointment. I don't feel protected. The Six of Wands comes out reverse for you guys here. So Scorpio, no matter how devotedly you try to follow your dreams here, reward has eluded you, meaning somebody took something from you. All right. It was taken. It could have been by a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Could have been your Cancer. We do have water energy. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, right? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could have stepped in here, took something. The cards say here that no matter what you've done, it's been taken from you, your dreams. For some of you guys, you were cast out from a group, right? This caused some delays to your plans here. But the cards are saying that you want to try and adjust your attitude to everything so that things don't get worse. I don't know if you're stuck in limbo or whatever's going on here, but it looks like there's somebody here who's going to make a decision about something. There's a judgment card that comes up for cancer. This is the first card for you. So this is a card that gives us Scorpio energy. Who else does it give us? I think just is judgment Scorpio and Aries. I can't remember. I gotta look that up. I'm not looking it up right now, but I'm saying y'all tell me later. So anyway, we have the judgment card that comes up here for you, cancer. This is about self judgment. Renewal, the truth coming out about something, forgiveness. So both these people here, they're water energy. So one is debating, do I forgive you? This other one here, the truth is coming out. It's about self-judgment. Do I forgive myself? Do I allow others to forgive me by saying something 
that was done or confessing or rectifying something that was done, right? We see something here about the truth coming out. Somebody's asking for forgiveness. This is something about the past. The past predicts a significant life change as a project or relationship breaches some sort of a conclusion. This could be a divorced couple. Whatever this is, the judgment offers a second chance to rectify an opportunity for forgiveness. For some of you guys here, this is something that comes with a financial reward. It's a financial reward for past efforts. This card is up for interpretation because this is a judgment card. So Cancer, in your energy, it could be a Scorpio who's going to get some kind of judgment, right? Where something goes to them, something's rectified for them. Or Cancer, you could have been the one treated like crap by Scorpio here. Maybe it was you that they treated like crap. The cards say here, for past efforts. So there's something that you did in the past that you didn't get any reward for, Cancer. Or guys, please understand, this is not going to be every Scorpio Cancer relationship. I want you to take what resonates and please leave the rest behind. That is so annoying. Oh my goodness. Hold up, y'all. I did not know. Anyway, yeah, that's annoying. So, yeah, there's something that needs to be rectified here. I'm just not sure who's doing the rectifying. But it does look like here there's something where somebody's going to have to admit something, something about a past mistake. There was something that was done in the past is going to come before you. You're going to be judged for it, whatever this is, right? But something's coming to an end. Something is concluding. Whatever this argument is about, whatever the separation is about, whatever the dispute is about the will or inheritance... It's going to be fixed. The truth is going to come out about it. The cards are saying here that you are going to be able to rectify this situation. Somebody's going to be granted some sort of a financial reward. But it also says, Cancer, that events are going to speed up very fast for you. So things are going to move like fast. Fast, fast. So we see that happening for you. Expect that. Now, it also goes on to say that some of you guys are operating in this King of Wands reverse energy. So, King of Wands reverse, somebody who is embittered with bad experiences. This person specifically is prejudiced, the cards are saying here. This person has no moral compass. They are unable to listen to others' opinions. I feel like... Cancer, you could be dealing with this person. This could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius cancer that you're dealing with. Or you guys could be dealing with another Scorpio aside from the one you're in a relationship with. Because I'm starting to feel like these are people that come into your energy. Remember, there's a con artist friend here. And it could be any of these folks here. Scorpio, to me, feels like they have a straight story. Yours seems a little bit more complicated. Interruptions from outside influences. You are working with somebody here, a King of Wands reverse. This is not a nice person, like I said. No moral compass. But this person is not going to block your efforts. This person is so corrupt, they actually support whatever it is you did or doing. They support whatever nonsense is going on with the separation. Like, they support you not paying your child support. This person supports you doing all types of effery. They said that they're not going to offer you any overt support nothing that is tangible but the cards say morally this person sides with you lends moral support now they could offer moral support to the decision the judgment that comes out but i'm not getting that i feel like this person here is corrupt this person has some sexual issues this person is a bully this person is weak and I also feel like this person's not ready to do something. So there's no, they're not ready to do... A judgment came out and somebody's not ready to act. Now, Cancer, you could be stubborn. Somebody made a judgment that you're supposed to adhere to. You're supposed to rectify something having to do with a Scorpio, right? And you decide, uh, yeah, I don't think I want to do that right now because I'm not ready to. It says you're not ready. So this is a bold Cancer. One of them ones that decide when they going to do it, right? One of them ones is due by the 24th. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to hit the button at 11.59. Like, I'm going to wait to the last minute because I ain't ready. I'm not doing it. I'll do it when I'm ready. Do you know who I am? <laughs> anyway, this person has some sexual issues, so that could be part of their problem. Whatever that's about. But this person's not going to block your efforts, Cancer. Or this could be you. 
Anyway, the cards say here there's going to be some changes here for you because you guys feel trapped, Cancer. You feel trapped by some decisions that were made in the past. It says old ways are holding you back from moving forward. The cards also say it is blocking valuable opportunities that could assist you in the future. For some of you guys, you feel like that there's a particular relationship that has no future. So Cancer, your opinion of a situation, you believe that there's a particular relationship that has no future. Could it be the one with the Scorpio? I believe this has no future. Could it be the one with the friend? The con artist friend who could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but I can't say that because that's the Queen of Pentacles here. The Queen of Pentacles is going to come in and straighten this stuff out, whatever that's about. So that's what I'm saying. This story, this story is a little weird. It, I don't know what this is. This is weird. I feel like one sucks the energy out of another one. That I'll tell you. And somebody's goal is to leave somebody else in sadness and deciding, I'm confused. Do I forgive these people or do I... But they keep crapping on you. So I would say keep fighting these people. Even though you're sad about it. Listen. You get up and you kick behind. But there is some kind of hope. Right? Somebody's trying to determine whether or not. do Should I invest anything else in this? Especially after the Ten of Pentacles. Especially after these family members came in. Stole my inheritance. Took my name off a will. Especially after these people did this. Did that. Disputes. Right? Separations. Family talking crap about me because me and my kids are separated. Now, y'all talking garbage about me. Y'all stealing the money from my kids. You know, something that leads you to believe that you were deceived. I feel like, Scorpio, you guys were treated terribly in some situation. And I feel like it became blatantly obvious. And I feel like there's a cancer who's under judgment for it. As a matter of fact, what I'm seeing is a 10 of Pentacles reversed here. This is conflict over a will or inheritance or some kind of support that was supposed to be it was promised. You said it, or the paperwork said it, but somebody felt that they had enough balls. I have enough balls to say, I don't like who you are, so therefore you won't get it. I don't give a damn about your bloodline. I don't care, father, whoever so-and-so left it to you. I decided. Now, how you get your hands on that again, though? How you know that was even out there, though, sir? And or ma'am. Anyway... So somebody was probing and looking and being nosy. That's what it looked like to me. But it goes on to say that there's a judgment. That's my point here. There's a judgment on the Ten of Pentacles that comes up reverse here. There's going to be a significant life change that comes up for cancer. There's going to be some kind of judgment. You do get a second chance to rectify some situation financially. However, it doesn't come without confession. That might be a hard pill to swallow for somebody with this energy. So I'm emboldened. Arrogant. I'll wait till 11.59 or maybe I won't because I got enough friends to push the time back and this and that. You know, all that big shot stuff. Ain't got nothing to do with me. But in other cases, Cancer, I feel like some of you guys are really working with somebody here who is nasty. They support you morally. Now, keep in mind, this person is garbage and they support you morally. So you got some garbage individual, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius who's supporting you. They're corrupt. Nasty, corrupt, but they support you. Now, if you got somebody nasty and corrupt lending you moral support, let's see what that says about your character, Cancer. Just saying. Mm. Birds of a feather. Anyway. Feeling trapped by the past, says Cancer. <laughs> there's something here where there's going to be changes to your immediate environment, right? For some of you guys, whatever changes are being made, you're going to feel more secure. You're going to be secure. Could be secure in your finances. Could be secure in your jail cell. But you will be secure. The common energy between you guys is the queen of pentacles that comes up. Now, this is a respected business person. Somebody who is an upstanding citizen. Somebody here who is in charge of finances. Maybe they manage finances. This person is a manager. They're a financial angel. This person brings gifts. This person brings answers and strategies or whatever this is about. This person is practical when it comes to financial matters. And this person is a homebody. The cards are saying that this person is going to be fair. I don't know why she's... That's what I was thinking. I was like, somebody got to be judging something. However, 
you do have this Queen of Pentacles, and this is her little stance on it. Now, this is a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Capricorn, Taurus, or... Whoever this person is, a Virgo could be law, you know, whoever. This could be the law, the Queen of Pentacles. It could be the government. It could be the law. I'm not going to say this person's a judge, but there's something. I don't know what this is, but it's something about fairness. Resourceful, domestic, fair. There's something about distribution of finances here with this person. And I want to be very clear with this. This person is not going to release any money or finances to anybody until she can see that her money that she contributes will produce tangible results. Or this person is not going to release any finances to a Scorpio or a Cancer until they see that there's been an acquisition of wisdom, meaning that you've learned something, right? That you got a lesson learned or whatever this is about. So this person is fair. So you don't have to you don't have to worry about this person being shady. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, they're not shady. It's literally black and white with this person. It's either you learned the lit the lesson, you got the wisdom, and I'll give you the money, or you didn't. It's very black and white. Very Scorpio, black and white. There's gray. Yeah, there's definitely some gray. As long as as long as there's as long as there's the right information to back up the gray area and why I should investigate going there absolutely there's a gray area always but with facts facts I know y'all be like don't you know how to spell facts I sure do f-a-x-x-x-x-x-x facts of course we know how to spell facts there's facts f-a-c-t-s facts and then there's facts well, I'm about the hood facts. Hey, that's the A X X. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. So this Queen of Pentacles ain't releasing no bread, basically. Not until y'all act right. Whether this be divorce court or if this is the other court. This could be some um this is a manager. This person could be a mediator or a manager. I feel like this person could be in charge of doing something. She could be down at the uh what you call them, the DCF office, this Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> I really feel like this Queen of Pentacles is somebody who has the ability to make stuff move, right? I'm not going to... I want to see what you're doing before I invest in this project. Before I distribute any money to your little thing you got going or whatever you're trying to do. I want to see... I want to see what your numbers look like. I want to see what your work ethic is like. I want to see that somebody's going to be held responsible. I'm going to see by looking at you and looking at your actions what's what. If this is a comparison of who's responsible and who's not, whatever. Knock yourself out. I don't know what this is. Somebody's deciding who to give the finances to or something like that. In some cases. Um, I've been up here 37 minutes. I'm trying to... All right. I'm going to go into something else. I understand already that this is some sort of a divorce. I understand that somebody intercepted something about a job offer. So there's some shadiness here. It clearly says that there's some judgments that are hanging over in the courthouse. Somebody's going to be rewarded for past efforts. It could be a Scorpio because of the judgment card, right? And I'm looking, I'm doing a Scorpio Cancer read. So Cancer, you may have to award Scorpio something or you have to rectify something with a Scorpio financially for back work, past efforts, right? Something about being extreme. Past efforts. Leaving the past behind you, Cancer. Something that you did in the past is going to come out. Something that you did to a Scorpio is going to come out. A judgment, a confession, something's going to come out. You can confess with your mouth or we can have the newspaper confess for you. It comes out. All right. Look at me and my reliance on a newspaper. You know, I see nothing wrong with the newspapers. There's nothing wrong with this. I'm trying to tell you. See, y'all confused. What had happened was, back in the day, there wasn't no computers and stuff, and you had these little newspapers, right? That's how you got the news. Now, what would happen if you had to go back to that time? I feel like there's something where you guys, everybody needs to be a little bit prepared to take a step back, right? So what does that mean? That means if you don't have access to certain things, you know, you have to go back to a method that maybe worked before that is tried and true in a sense, right? Such as the radio, if you got electricity, though. I don't know. Camping outside, I don't know. It's just weird, but I just think the extinction of newspapers is, you're going to need them suckers back one day, I'm trying to tell you. But I think they got too expensive, but 
paper got expensive. What's going on here? I don't know. The world just became too fast. And if you don't live in like a New York City, glamour magazines all over the place really don't do nothing in small places, especially when people are broke. So, you know what I mean? So it's a little different. I think magazines and newspapers could be glamorized in a city setting, especially if it's as populated as like a New York, right? So there's more of and more influence, I would say. Anyway, what's going on here? What is going on? Ten of Pentacles. What's this? Oh, okay. Somebody feels trapped. Yep, we got that. Scorpio, you feel trapped. There's something about royalty. Scorpio, could you be royalty who feels trapped? You don't want anybody to know you feel trapped. Trapped royalty. Somebody trapped somebody who's royal. Somebody doesn't want anybody to know that they trapped somebody who's royal. Royal blood, royalty. Somebody tried to mess up their water supply. There's something with the water supply. The water supply is messed up. Hmm. Give me more for Scorpio. What else is this? Ten of Pentacles. This is, it looks like this is the impact is having. More. Manipulation. Somebody doesn't want you to know that you are being manipulated. They're manipulating your water supply. They want you to feel trapped. No, they don't want you to know that you're trapped. There's something where somebody's trying to take over the water with manipulation, right? Crimes against humanity. Yep, somebody's being manipulative. Somebody's committing crimes against humanity. Scorpio is coming up under your line. Or somebody's doing that to you. Could be cancer. Cancer, what's going on with you? Your judgment. If it's a judgment, something other than something that needs to be rectified for past efforts, what is this about? What are you rectifying? An incoming message. Ain't that about a mother? The first energy that comes up for Scorpio, my job offer was taken away from me. And it was an incoming message that cancer decided they were going to intervene and take or something like that. You see that? Incoming message, letter. That was Scorpio's concern. So you had a cancer here who decided they was going to take their little self in your email or uh, in your mail, interrupted your mail. They didn't want you to know that you were royalty. They did everything to get rid of you, include mess up your water supply, right? Cancer, is that what you did in abuse of power? This is what you're going to be judged for. Give me more, please. This is part of a cult. There was an incoming message and a cult interrupted, right? They didn't want you to know something about your royalty. There was a cult. This cancer member is a part of a cult or coven. This person could be a part of a church. Cancer. What are you being judged for? You're being judged for being part of a cult and doing some stuff that you shouldn't have done and also an, intermes an incoming message that you interrupted. You interceded. You had people go in. Something is not solved. You don't want somebody to solve something solved. Something actually is solved. You just don't want to admit it. But you're saying that something's not solved. It's not solved yet. I think that's a stall tactic. I also see intoxication. This is somebody drinking, carrying on. Drinking and all types of stuff. There's something that you don't want to come out, Cancer. That you've been drinking and carrying on. Part of a cult. Intercepting messages. What's the comment? Energy between these two. So we see Scorpio's broke. Right? And there's something about them being trapped or royalty. They wanted to mess up your water. Crimes against humanity. Heinous. Cancer. Your judgment for some message that you should not have gone into. Who are you to decide? Oh, are you sad now? So now it says you're intoxicated and sad. Look at that. You're sad. You joined a cult. You interrupted something. You interrupted a message about a job. Why didn't you want Scorpio to have this job? Why did you feel the need to do that? Is that jealousy? Is it because you're part of a cult? Cancer, is it because of the inheritance? The changing of the will? Because you're part of a cult. You promised a cult something? What did Scorpio, what did, what did Cancer promise this cult? Hold on. What did Cancer promise this cult, please? What's up with the cult? Power. I promised you power, but I couldn't deliver it. You were supposed to have some kind of power with this cult. You promised this cult some power. They would have a status. The biggest cult you've ever seen. Give me more. What did Cancer promise this cult? Chemtrails. Something about control over the weather. I don't think they got it. I just feel like it's a power and control thing. They promised them power. 
all of this over like one person mm. and a corrupt politician shows up a corrupt politician i promise you a corrupt politician so cancer you promised somebody a, a scorpio politician or a corrupt politician that was one of the promises that you promised the cult cancer you told the cult that i will give you power i will give you access to manipulate the weather i will give you a corrupt politician Scorpio, they wanted to bankrupt you. They didn't want you to follow your intuition with the crimes against humanity. Ignore your intuition. You won't have water. The royalty, we don't want you to know that. And we don't want you to know something about being trapped. Don't feel trapped. What? Tell me about uh, intuition. No, I'm not. Hold on. Let's shuffle. Intuition, please. Or, you know what? What's up with this water supply? Crimes against anything here. They're all terrible. But crimes against humanity, water supply, intuition. Climate change. Yep, somebody was trying to manipulate the weather. Manipulate somebody's weather, the mood, something like this. Weather manipulation here. Weather manipulation. Climate change. Crimes against humanity. Give me more for Scorpio. What is this? What's under? What's going on with climate change? Memories. They didn't want you to remember something. They wanted you to ignore your intuition about some crime against humanity, some memories. They wanted them suppressed. Something about aliens. I guess that meant to come up. I don't know what that is. Memories of aliens. I have no idea what that is. I guess if you're into this stuff, I'll give me one more. Kidnapped. Okay, so they didn't want you to remember that you were kidnapped, Scorpio. Scorpio, you could have been kidnapped or you could have kidnapped somebody. There's a kidnapping here. Whatever that's about. I don't know. Give me a conversation between these two. Give me a conversation between these two, please. Somebody did. Somebody's being judged. Somebody's being judged because of some work that they did with a cult. It just really feels like. It really feels like cancer is out for Scorpio. Like Scorpio showing up under judgment. Oh, jeez. I don't know. I don't know what this is. This is a separation. This is over some money. Every single time Scorpio goes down, Cancer wins. That's what it looks like. Give me a conversation, Scorpio. What do you have to say to Cancer? This is not the end. Scorpio's like, F you. This is not the end. Cancer, what do you have to say to Scorpio? Our story isn't over yet. Ooh, child. Y'all are something else. Oh, I'm battle to the end. Give me the uh, oh y'all battling it out. I see. Give me a common energy between these two folks. I guess y'all wanted to. I do not dive in and out of relationships. I do not die. Both you guys are like I do not dive in and out of relationships. There is so much more. There is so much I want to tell you. There's so much I will not be telling you. So somebody knows more than they're letting on to a situation, whatever this is about. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, please. I love you guys. That alien kidnapping stuff, that's weird. Climate change. I don't know who these people are. I don't know them. I understand some of this. I see somebody broke, though. That I get. I see somebody was messing with somebody's mail, messed with a job offer. I know that there was a friend here. There was a friend who helped interrupt somebody's uh, job offer. This friend could have also done something electronically online based off the way the incoming message came. But I also feel like there was an official letter, like, uh, like one that you actually get in the mail, paper. But there was a friend that manipulated something. This friend could have been a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This friend could have been another Scorpio. I'm getting the Scorpios coming up. There's more than one Scorpio playing out in these reads, right? Which is why I did a Scorpio, Scorpio read. That's 17 hours uploading. I don't know if they're checking it or whatever, 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 whatever. All right. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye.